it's clear after part one of this series, there's many more valuable stoppers we have to look at. This is part two of the best NBA lockdown defenders and my opinion on the most valuable player on this list at the end. Before continuing, over three quarters of my audience isn't subscribed, so please subscribe. Also hit thumbs up for the beastly YouTube algorithm. Now let's get into this. After his first two years in Philly, it's very clear Matisse Thybul is an elite wing stopper. Matisse made the all-defensive second team in just his sophomore campaign. Thybul was one of three players with over 70 steals and 70 blocks, joining Giannis and Robert Covington. Thybul posted the fifth highest single season defensive box plus minus in NBA history. He can rotate to stuff shots from out of nowhere. He blocked 0.8 jumpers and floaters per game this year. That factored into his overall mark of 1.1 blocks per game. Add his 1.6 steals, which places him near the top of the NBA, and it's hard to argue any single defender is more disruptive than Matisse. Anthony Davis has suddenly become very underrated. In 2020, he became the first Laker to make an all-defensive first team since Kobe Bryant in 2011. Additionally, the brow was the backbone to LA's quick and dominant championship run. Just a season ago, Davis posted the third most blocks, second highest defensive rating, second most defensive win shares, and third best defensive box plus minus in the entire NBA during the regular season. Davis proved in his first season with LA that there's no one with his combination of smoothness, agility, and instincts. One of the hardest working players on this end of the floor in basketball is the heart and soul of the Boston Celtics, Marcus Smart. Not only does he define hustle player, but Marcus has pristine defensive footwork and his guarding stance allows him to move swiftly on the perimeter. Smart's positioning and IQ has given him two first-team all-defense honors. Staying in Boston, Jalen Brown may be slightly worse offensively than Tatum, but Brown's debatably become the C's most valuable defender. And it's a shame he wasn't healthy because this man Jalen is one of the more valuable perimeter clampers in the entire game. Jalen locked down Pascal Siakam in the 2020 playoffs, and while he loses focus at times, Jalen's stature and agility are as good as they come. Nerlens Noel ranked third in shot blocking and ranked number two in one of the best advanced stats in the NBA that's already been mentioned in this video a few times, defensive box plus minus. Noel was a paint protecting phenom and the defensive anchor for the number four seeded New York Knicks. Since being labeled as a bust early in his career, Nerlens has carved out a pretty decent reputation as one of the better rim protectors in basketball. Hate on Ben Simmons all you want for his miserable playoff showing, and I did my fair share of that. Simmons headlined my top six NBA chokers video a while back. However, we can't chirp Simmons about his defense. There's no denying the Aussies one of the better lockdown defenders in the world. Listed at 6'11 and 240 pounds, Simmons can guard anyone on the floor. He averaged 1.6 steals and 0.6 blocks per game, but those numbers don't reflect his impact. He more notably averaged around league best totals in deflections and loose balls recovered per game. He takes up a ton of space with his long strides, and he has an underratedly high defensive IQ. Simmons also ranked number eight in the league in defensive box plus minus, number nine in defensive win shares, and second in defensive rating. Ben's extremely versatile and deserves respect for his impact, if only he was a tad more aggressive offensively. Speaking of versatility, Miami Heat center Bam Adebayo's six foot nine frame and seven foot one wingspan, combined with his lateral movement, make him extremely adaptable. Bam was named to his second straight all-defensive team in 2021. He finished sixth in defensive real plus minus, and the Heat had the fourth best defense in the league when he was on the floor. Adebayo's swiftness and strength allow him to guard positions three through five at an elite level. He was snubbed for an all-defensive team, but with Mikhail Bridges' play in the postseason, there's no denying the clamping capabilities from Phoenix's small forward. Mikhail guarded LeBron, Michael Porter Jr., Paul George, plus Middleton and Giannis in the postseason. 
He ranked ninth in defensive efficiency in the playoffs and established himself as a premier wing stopper. Patty Williams of the Chicago Bulls is only going to be a sophomore, but it's already clear that his toughness, wingspan, combined with his coachability will allow him to develop into a top-notch defensive player. Williams boasts an impressive 6'7 and 215 pound frame, making him both strong and versatile on both sides of the basketball. On top of that, he has very large hands and a 6'11 wingspan, making him naturally gifted on the defensive end, allowing for him to swipe at ball handlers and cut passing lanes with ease. A common theme that will emerge with Williams' development is the fact that he's one of the youngest players in the NBA, therefore the sky's the limit for him. His already impressive frame will continue to grow and will undoubtedly make him an even better defender. First in total deflections and 18th in steals among all players, plus second in defensive real plus minus among power forwards, Robert Covington lived up to his name in 2021. Robert's always had the reputation of being a nightmare to get past for attacking players. With Robert, Portland has a reliable stopper next to their offensive-minded backcourt in Damon CJ. Lonzo Ball ranked third among all point guards in real plus minus. While he's known for his offense, the stats back up his impact on the opposite end. Last season, Ball took on the toughest assignments in the league overall. According to B-Ball Index, Lonzo ranked first in toughest assignments with a minimum of 500 minutes played, ranking just ahead of Lou Dort and Mikhail Bridges. So Chicago's not only getting a very good playmaker and three-point shooter, but an above average guard stopper in Lonzo. Back in 2017, 538 argued that Andrew Wiggins was the least defensive player in the league. They described his efforts as catastrophic and asserted that getting a shot off against Wiggins was just as efficient as an uncontested look. But Wiggs' improvement on this end in Warrior Threads has been very noticeable. The former number one pick was tasked with guarding the toughest matchups in his entire career his defensive real plus minus ranked fourth among all small forwards, a massive jump from last year when he ranked 85th out of the 99 players listed at his position. Royce O'Neal's utility on the defensive end of the ball is not only by far the best on the Utah Jazz, his adaptability on that end of the floor ranks him as one of the most versatile defenders in the league today. According to Crafted NBA, O'Neal's versatility rating is 76 on a 0 to 100 scale, comparable with players like Robert Covington, who has a 71, Draymond Green, who has a 75, and Mikhail Bridges, who has a 77. O'Neal's pesky, he rarely falls for pump fakes, and due to those qualities, he ranked top 20 in every advanced defensive metric. So, who's the most valuable of all these defenders? That's tough to say. And while Matisse Thibel's right up there with the best, in my opinion, Anthony Davis, Bam Adebayo, Ben Simmons, Jalen Brown, and Nerlens Noel are the most valuable defenders. At their peak, the two most valuable in part two of this series are Ben Simmons and Anthony Davis. Even though he wasn't healthy last year, after a five-month offseason, I expect Anthony Davis to re-establish himself as the NBA's best defender. I'll admit, Davis was blasphemously left off my top 10 players ranking because healthy AD on both ends is a scary thought for other West contenders. But you could easily go with Simmons and make the argument for just about every player on this list. While the modern NBA revolves around offense, as you can see from my past two uploads, there's no shortage of lockdown defending specialists. Let me know your favorite lockdown stopper in the comments section. Hope you have a great one. DFlow signing off.